Well, hello again. Uh, today I'm going to deal with the question of whether or not there is a God in five minutes. How is, it, how is that for ambition? Well, it certainly is a question that has not only bedeviled mankind for countless generations, but it's one about which there's a great deal of controversy. Uh, so therefore, it's obviously worth taking a look at. Okay, well, to start with, what about those who say, yes, there is a God? Uh, what are their arguments? Okay, well, to begin with, uh, my church, as well as the scripture that I read and which I hold dear, says there's a God, and that's enough for me. Now, for many people, that's really the position, and the analysis stops there. Uh, second, my experience is very positive. Uh, I pray to him, and I get results, uh, and what else is there to say? And then third, uh, the science of everything around us is so complicated that it had to be designed by somebody. It just couldn't have happened kind of randomly like the scientists tell us. And, uh, well, really, uh, that's, that's all you have to know. Well, that does kind of explain the strength of feeling that exists on the part of uh, God's supporters. Uh, so, what about those who would say, no, no, there is no God, the evidence just isn't there? Okay, um, first of all, the sociologists, uh, the psychologists, the anthropologists will argue uh, that God has been around, been worshipped by men from the earliest days. It's a process which involves invention. Man invented this otherworldly process to help him deal with fear of the unknown, unfathomable questions like what happens after we die, what is it all about, and so forth. I'm afraid God was manufactured to help us deal with these uh, thorny issues, and a category of professionals spotted the market opportunity and moved in as clergy. Uh, and uh, that's how it all started. A second, there's no persuasive evidence that God exists, and for that matter, there's no evidence that praying works. There was a major experiment done uh, a few years ago in, in America where they organized in a lot of churches praying for sick people and then compared the results to uh, other people in similar situations in hospitals with similar diseases and compared the results. Uh, there was no difference. There was no difference, no evidence of it working, so uh, <laughs> that's pretty disappointing for those who would argue otherwise. And finally, there's the Stephen Fry argument. He famously said, how could a creator, a benevolent God, have allowed such terrible things to happen like diseases for incident, infants or genetically disfiguring disease? Well, those are some pretty tough arguments as well as, uh, uh, and they're kind of hard to, do, to refute, really. Well, what's my take on all of this? Well, the Richard Dawkins, the famous Richard Dawkins, one of the most controversial questioners and commentators on the subject, has said that belief in God appears on a kind of a spectrum, all the way from those who absolutely insist there is one, on one end of the spectrum, to those who militantly, militantly insist that there is no God. You can think of it as a kind of scale one to ten. Uh, uh, one for uh, absolutely a God, ten absolutely no God. Dawkins says he's a nine. He, he, he thinks it would be just as mindless and unreasonable to insist without evidence uh, on the lack of a God as it is to say there is a God. But in balance, he's quite sure there, there is none. I'm ha I have to say I'm with Richard on this. Well, there it is. I hope you don't get too upset about this and, we'll, and some of you will not like what I've said, but there it is. If you did like it, uh, please uh, give me a link, uh, subscribe, comment, uh, notify, all that stuff. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.